Hello. Just kind of... I'm awesome. How are you? I'm just waiting for some people to show up. I got, I got my dog here. Hey, buddy. I'm doing great. Let me know uh, if the video is a little choppy. I'm using a lot of uh, processing power. What happened? Uh, some altcoins crashed today, huh? Well, I just got home from work. Uh, I start doing my homework right about now. Uh, I usually spend this time preparing for the show. So, haven't looked at the markets. But, I can take a look for you right now. Let me pop on over to my... See what's going on here. See, it's funny that you say that. Uh, some altcoins are down, but um, my portfolio today is up. So... Maybe it depends on which coins you're in and how you're diversified. Uh, let me take a look. Um, yeah, you know, I can definitely see some that are down. Um, let me see how Bitcoin's rocking today. There's your problem, buddy. Um, so when you look at percentages up and down on the markets, they are almost always going to be based off of uh, Bitcoin, not USD or whatever currency you use. So, um, yeah. Uh, even though everything uh, might be a little down, some of them are up because Bitcoin is just on fire, it looks like. I'm going to have to actually go and take a look and see if we broke an all-time high. I'll have to talk about that in a, in a video. Um, even though Ether is uh, down on via BTC, let me take a look real quick. I'm going to look on my other screen here. It's actually just $3 shy of an all-time high if you look at USD. So that's kind of just how the world works here in the Bitcoin land. Am I choppy, guys? Let me know if I appear choppy on your end. Um, I have a lot of processing power going on right now in the background. So just let me know if things kind of sound funny or whatnot. We're almost at 98 billion. Wow, we're going to break 100 billion. I'm telling you guys, get ready for the second wave, the second coming. Uh, I actually had a friend at work ask me for the first time, uh, first person at my job to be like, hey, what's this Ethereum thing? And he actually texted me Ethereum, and he spelt it so wrong, I didn't even know what he was talking about. <laughs> it was like... He, he'd never heard of it before. And and then he's like, and what is Ripple? And, uh, and I was like, yeah, I know everything about both of those things. What do you want to know? And he's like, we need to talk about it. I had a friend make $200,000 off of Ripple. I said, okay, a lot of, yeah. We all probably made a little money on Ripple at some point, right? Uh, he's like, yeah, because then my buddy lost a hundred grand after he made 200. I was like, yeah. He's going to lose it all, probably, if he doesn't sell soon. Um, a lot of people are making money on accident. Anyhow, I think that that type of interest is, gonna, is going to spread like wildfire. Uh, unfortunately, you know, people don't want to really listen until someone else is really making money. You know, uh, you know, it took my wife a long time to really understand even that this is real money. It's real value. I keep, you know, when she sees how much it's going up and things like that, you know, she gets excited about that. She keeps asking me when we're going to buy a house and be rich. And I mean, I own a house, but like she, you know, she, she wants another one or 10 houses. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, even though things uh, appear to be a little down today, that's a normal day. It's good to have some red. We need some bleeding in the streets sometimes. Um, we need some consolidation. This just a little, gets a little out of control. Now, if you own some of these more volatile coins, you might have got wrecked today. I'm going to go look at the big losers and winners today. I mean, hopefully you guys were buying Steam. Steam's were rocking today, but looks like you guys got wrecked if you uh, tried to catch Syscoin on the way up. Maybe you just got into BitShares. I own BitShares on a long run there, so I'm doing all right. Ripple's down. Sycoin's down. And even though Sycoin and Ethereum are down again, when you actually look at how much BTC is up, um, let me take a look. 
Wow. BTC up 4.43 against a tether. Let me see what it is over here. It's up 6.6 .6 against the USD, guys. That's a huge day for Bitcoin. That's huge. It's enormous for, for how much it costs already. This is exciting. Yeah, we might break this 100, 100 billion here. I'm going to take a look. Um, anyhow, welcome as more people join. We're celebrating uh, 1,000 subscribers. Some of you guys have been here since my first 100. Some of you since my first 10. And uh, I just I just was like, you know, I need to do something different. I want to celebrate. What do I do? Do I chug a Mountain Dew or just make a special video? And I don't know why I didn't think of it before. And I was just, duh, let's do a live stream. Let's answer some questions, get to know each other. Because that's the whole reason I made the channel, right? Like, I did not make this channel to get to 1,000. It just magically happened. And here I am. And, uh, you know, we hit a thousand and I don't know if that like helps the YouTube algorithm, uh, place me in better maybe. Um, but like I am cooking on subscribers and I have like all time 24 hour high. Like, like, I don't know what happens. Like the moment I hit a thousand, just boom, I'm already almost to 1100. I'll probably hit it here in a moment. I'm not even sure the exact number I'm at, but kind of crazy. Um, but let me bring up the coin market cap. So feel free to ask questions. I'll be jumping back and forth and uh, trying to do a little bit of my homework as well for my video. I got 97.2 billion. Man, we're gonna add a, we're gonna add a digit to that and we'll never see it again. Looks like uh, Bitcoin got some of its dominance back. Now that's not surprising, you know. I'm still expecting Ripple to correct. I still think Ripple's uh, out of control. I don't talk about that a lot. I will in my in my news, but in my live streams and things. I can I get a little bit more honest, and uh, you know Ripple, it's still still kind of crazy. Um, I still have trouble understanding the true value of the coin as it pertains to you and me. I get it for the banks. Um, it's still kind of crazy to think that the banks are going to come use that much. If you actually look at how much Ripple is required to do transactions and things of that nature, it's still just, I don't know. Now, what I do like about Ripple, guys, I'll be really honest what I like about Ripple. Uh, I am in love with um, the concept of the inner ledger. What they've done with the inner ledger is potentially going to... If you know if the banks truly buy into Ripple and all that, uh, we might actually see a one-world currency, right? Uh, being able to send one transaction through all the different uh, ledgers coming out on the other side balanced. It's kind of crazy. Now, what I'm now here's what I truly hope happens next, guys. Okay, so we don't most people don't like Ripple, and I say we because most of the community, the majority, that have been here a while, they they like decentralization, right? Um, and Ripple's very centralized. They're working with the banks, right? And we're all racing to try to beat the banks to it because if the banks get control of it, then they're just going to use the technology to profit and then we're just stuck, right? Well, no, most people don't want that, and they think it's the path to the dark side. So, um, I'm hoping someone recreates Inner Ledger, and through Inner Ledger, runs through a core privacy coin, right? Imagine that every single transaction runs through a privacy coin of some kind, and, uh, Essentially, your transactions for all time are basically impossible to trace. That's exciting to me. That's pretty cool. I'm not really huge into the privacy thing. Uh, I try to avoid it just because there's a lot of negative connotation and a lot of drugs going on. Let's be real, right? Legal activity. I just don't want to get caught up in that or get questioned about it by someone someday. Um, but that being said, there's definitely some very real investment opportunities or something like that were to happen and get crazy so um looks like some of you are getting into arc that's great uh, did you watch my channel i hope you watched uh the video i talked about arc um i've been into arc 
I've owned Ark for, gosh, months. I think it's been months now. Losing track of time. Um, and I got into it because of this guy called Crypto Lanka, and he he does some awesome videos on YouTube. Check him out. Uh, like him. He does great stuff. Um, he's not as uh, uh, exuberant as I can get sometimes. But he, re he brings the hard facts with some of these coins, and I really like his analysis. He's really, really into the uh, you know proof of work that's being done, actual execution. Um, it's not crypto. It's, uh, it is Crypto Lanka. Um, and he actually is a ranked 52. He's, he is a delegate um, if he can get to 51. So though I don't know if you did your research on ARC, but essentially you want to be one of the 51 delegates they get massive rewards and he agreed that if you vote for him if you put the arc in your arc wallet and you actually vote for him um he's going to share those rewards proportionately based on how much you voted with him so uh i did that and you know i said hey you know i'm gonna ask my viewers to check out his channel get to know him and support him because i think that um I think he uh, is a good guy. I think that he's the kind of guy that we, we need a delegate representing on that coin, as well as maybe some other coins someday. Um, I really like him. He knows what he's doing. He knows the stuff way better than I do, way more technical, way more in-depth. Uh, you can tell he probably is a programmer or maybe even works on some chains and things like that. So Sounds very altruistic. Man, I don't even know if I know what altruistic means. <laughs> my thoughts on Golem. Um, well, I bought Golem when it was single digits, so my thoughts are is that I like it. Um, now, I think I think Golem is probably slightly overpriced at the moment, but as the market cap grows, it should grow too. It's kind of pegged to Ethereum a little bit now. It's kind of starting to peg. Um, if you if you pay attention to that, so. Um, my belief system is this. This is what I truly believe. I feel like the next wave that you see in Ethereum is new mar new people buying into Ethereum, even though it's ridiculously high. See, now it's getting to this price where it's like, mm, people look at Ethereum and they're like, I can't afford it. And that's because they don't understand you could buy a 0.1 Ethereum and get into it, right? But from, the, from a new person, they're like, oh man, that sounds expensive. I don't know if I want to spend that much. I could lose all my money, right? It's like, even remember the first time you bought a crypto, you might have put fifty dollars in something, and that's what it was like. What the hell am I doing? I'm just gonna screw around with this. I think it's kind of like that um, with Ethereum. But when we do see that real wave come, and you know, when we get up to three hundred to four hundred, five hundred, when we make that next big push, and we start getting that media attention again, um, when new people enter the market, my my belief system is is that. Golem is likely the first project they find on Ethereum that they're like, wow. Uh, it's it's kind of like the dream project on Ethereum, right? So uh, I like it. It's probably a little bit overhyped, just a tiny bit, but um, because they're years away, right? But I don't know. Um, I believe in it. It's totally realistic. Like if you actually go and use Gridcoin, that's the reason why I started uh, mining on Gridcoin um, I left my computer on all day. I was mining all day. I'm mining right now while we're doing this video, actually, in the background. Still looking for extraterrestrials out there. No luck. No luck uh, that I'm aware of. How amazing would it be if somebody asked? Like, what a story you could tell. I mined the block that found E.T. or something. That'd, that'd be crazy. Probably never going to happen. Um, so, anyhow. Yeah, I got into Gridcoin, checked it out. And uh, really enjoying that. Uh, I, I need to do my research because there's there's obviously projects that pay more than others. So I need to figure that out. Let me read a little bit more here. Oh yeah, Digibyte. Um, I like Digibyte's technology. I won't lie. It's summertime here, guys. Got a otter pop. Got to celebrate. We're celebrating. I'm eating Otter Pops. I got a Mountain Dew in the freezer because I didn't have any cold ones. It's like the worst. See, I'm, I, I, 
I'm all about having different types of Mountain Dews. I like I like room temperature Mountain Dew because it's smoother. Sometimes I like it nice and cold and crisp. Like, you know, people go and they drink beer all day, and that's cool. Basically, everyone I know goes out and drinks beer. Me? I'm the connoisseur of the finer things in life, like Mountain Dew. Um, yeah, Digibyte, I think I really like the uh, technology in Digibyte. I really like uh, the concept behind it. There's a crap ton of coins, guys. And I don't see proof of adoption. Like, the whole Digibyte in, uh, um, with, uh, shoot, Minecraft uh, debacle got blown way out of proportion. Like, my understanding is that it's, like, one server that someone created. It wasn't, like, them doing it, so... Anyhow, I'm just saying. Uh, but all that being said, you know, is Digibyte the next Ripple? Well, I kind of talked about it in my video the other day. I, I you know, I don't know when it's going to run out of steam, but I, I, it's kind of like one of those things that it's like all those people who got in at three six hundred or whatever Satoshi's, like basically nothing. They're never going to sell it. They're going to try to see how high it goes. And so, like, the support level is there. There's strong Digibyte support. It's interesting. Um, so I don't know how high it's going to go. And it could get out of control like Ripple. But I don't want to say that because I don't... I honestly believe it's not valued as such. I think that right now is a very solid speculative amount. And it needs to calm down. Um... I just, I saw, I feel like a lot of money was leaving Ripple and going into it as well. If you actually remember the run-up, if you were paying attention to the markets, you would have seen that uh, Ripple, as money was moving out, was basically going into Digibuy. It's just, you know, greed. And that's cool. Hey, I'm all for it, dude. I do it all the time. Um, when I'm sitting here and I see the markets and I see the buy orders and I know which way it's going, I'll buy in and I will sit here until it peaks out literally just sit here for hours and then at the top boom sell the moment it turns around and do i miss out on it bouncing back up even higher yes i do all the time but that's okay with me when i can make a quick legit <laughs> I, I can make more money doing that than working all day so it's it's worth me sitting here staring at my screen but like i highly don't recommend it uh, I only do it with with what I can afford to lose. Um, I also don't use Polonex, so I don't have to deal with the sites crashing. When I get out, I'm out. So, what's my favorite unknown coin? Hmm. 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 Well, that's hard because they're all kind of known. Uh, most coins I'll talk about are probably in the top 200. Um, but I just found Vert coin. Well, I mean, I didn't just find it, but I just looked into it. There's some potential there, but um, there's not enough about the team and what they have planned and all that. Um, Vert coin's pretty cool. Uh,. Human IQ. No. I think that if you're going to get into Human IQ, there's, there's some competitors out there. If you're going to be in that, you might as well just be in all of them. And I don't say that to be like... I don't even know what the word is. I actually think that that's the smart play. <laughs> like, um, you know, just like how there's multiple uh, cloud storage coins... I, my advice in that is to own each one. If you if if you believe in one, you're dumb not to own all three because they're all doing the same thing. The there's a higher probability of striking it, uh, getting it right if you just own them all. So to each their own, and I understand everyone wants to make a quick buck, but if you're actually serious about that as a long term, if you really believe that that's how it will be in three, five, ten years. I don't know what you're doing if you don't own all three or four or however many there are. So that's just that's just my take on it. Wager. Um, 
I, I was thinking about getting a master node, and I still am very, very seriously, very carefully considering it. Um, yeah, I guess I just don't know what to say about it other than that. Um, I think uh, I, I'm in love with the concept. I did a video on Wager. Uh, you can check that out. Wager's cool. Um, I guess once they release the code, and not the day they release it, because I need, I need to wait for professionals to rip it apart and tell us if it's any good, because it is a private blockchain. Man, my phone is blowing up with somebody from Connecticut. I do not know anyone in Connecticut. It's probably eBay calling me or uh, Amazon or Google. Being a digital marketer, I basically get a thousand calls and emails a day on stuff that, I don't know, usually scams. I've not heard about IOC. Thoughts on the impact of the prediction markets in society down the road? That's deep. That is a deep question. I have very deep answers. Not that deep. Um, which one is it? New... Uh, New Marnie? Uh-oh. That's hilarious. Uh, now I know who's calling me. Uh, somebody at work just set the alarm off. Sorry, guys. Um, I don't even know who this is. Oh, it's Jackson. Great. Sorry. I don't know what to do. He's on his own. He's probably watching this right now, which would be really sad. Someone I'm working with is probably watching this. I do not know the code. Uh, I'm just going to tell him real quick. Contact Brian. I don't know. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and tell Brian. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I really apologize. But, like, you know, the cops are going to show up. And then it costs a bunch of money. You know how it goes, right? Um, gosh. Brian, 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 Brian. I'm super sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Impact. Okay. So, what is the name of that technology? New Amari? New Amari? Is that right? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? There's not a coin for it right now, but it's coming out. Not for a while. They haven't officially announced it. All they said is we're going to make one. 213... Two, one, three, four, to shut off. Boom. Okay. Um. Yeah. So apparently, uh, I don't know. There is a great, great video on the with an interview of the guy doing New Amari, I believe is what it's called, or New Mari, or um, I wish somebody could help me here in chat. New Amari? New Amari? Um, it's a... Let's see if I can find it. New Amari? No, that's not what it is. Anyhow, it's not a coin, guys. Uh, but basically, it's they're doing prediction market stuff with it. And what it is, is they actually send out data to... Um, mathematicians and uh but the mathematicians have no idea what this data even means hell they don't even know if it's market related to be honest i'm assuming it is and they go through all the data and they actually make a prediction based on it and uh yeah they the mathematicians get rewarded on how accurate they are. 
Like they literally get a reward and it is financial gain. And so they're gonna be making a coin to do all of this. Right now, I think they give them cash and it's it's a solid amount of money. Um, the more often you're right, the more you can make. And uh, But here's the thing is the people, like their your special algorithm, if you're a mathematician, however you're doing your predictions, um, you don't have to share it. It's your intellectual property, so you will continue to get paid, right? Uh, so if you're hella smart, you have some computers and you run it through there and it spits out some amazing prediction, you send it in and you just make money. It's awesome. Um, right now it's closed. It's a closed investment group. Not everyone can get in. So you'll have to check it out. I feel horrible for not knowing what it is. I am going to find it for you right now because I'm not upset about it. Um, I know exactly where to go in my YouTube subscriptions to find the video. Hey, we got 24 people on right now. That's impressive, guys. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. So... There is a channel on YouTube called This Week in Startups. And um, this guy interviews some of the most amazing people in the world doing startups. Um, I believe he's an angel investor too. So the work that he's doing is, you know, it's, it feels like he's doing a, a charity almost. It's a gift to the world that he takes his time and goes through this. Ah, I found it! New... Oh, instead of Samurai, that's right, it's Numerai. Numerai. And uh, the founder is Richard Crabe. And um, there is like... A, it's a really, really long interview. Super long. And it's one of those ones that... I will, I will tell you this, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts uh, uh, while I'm driving or when I'm, you know, things like that. But this podcast captivated me in a way that I have not heard in a long time. Now, it gets really weird at the end, I'll warn you. They get all, like, out there about, you know, freezing your body when you die so that someday you can come back to life and all that. And, like, that's hardcore stuff. Apparently, um, that's one of the employee benefits of working there. Um, you'll learn about that in that video. <laughs> Hardcore futuristic stuff. But this guy is like, his brain is on the same level as Vitalik. Like, you, you guys all know, like, when you watch a video of Vitalik, it does, it takes you like two minutes to be like, this guy's almost speaking another language. Even though he's speaking perfect English, you know he, he is exceptionally intelligent. Um, same with this guy. Super fascinating. Uh, one of the smartest people in the world. Uh, probably a massive game changer. Um, yeah. PC is getting a little hot with all this processing running right now, so I'm just cooling it off. Um, so yeah, there will be a coin out eventually for that. Uh, it's prediction markets. And uh, I never really thought about it much. Um, you know, it's different, I guess, right? There's some prediction market coins where we all vote on what's going to happen. Like, we're all going to pick the Super Bowl winner, and we're more likely to be right um, as a group, um, which is cool. I mean, I don't know. I guess I don't know what to say about that. I still feel like... Uh, I'm not sure I see a whole lot of value in it. The only thing I see in it is that it makes, like, betting, uh, betting on games and stuff. Like, we can remove the casinos and use consensus to say, yes, this person won. That's all I know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Other questions. Any other questions, guys? If there's not many questions, I can wrap it up. Uh, I definitely got homework to do on some of these uh, some of the news today. You guys have any, uh, particular news that you spotted today that you think was important? Cover it. 
I gotta do a lot of homework here. I, I mean, I do homework uh, during the day at lunch and on my way to the work in the morning. I'm listening to a lot of different podcasts, trying to get a grasp of what I want to spend my time researching. Um, I research before the video. I research after the video. But when you guys leave me links, I think it's awesome. I think it's super cool that I, I've learned more from you guys than you would imagine. And it helps me get better. Um, wow, that's an interesting article. We'll have to talk about that. Hmm. I heard that there was definitely... Um, I definitely know that Ethereum Chamber is stealing your private keys. Heard about that. I'm going to talk about that on my video. That's a that's something that I should say over and over again, right? Hopefully uh, none of you guys fall into that trap. Always make sure, guys, that you are double-checking the URLs that you're using. People are paying a lot of money to look like URLs. So... NVO. NVO. I'm not familiar. It's a decentralized exchange. Uh, looks like they had an ICO. And that opened on May, and it's closing on the 27th. NVO decentralized exchange is operating through two components. One is multi cryptocurrencies, open source wallet. All keys are created locally on the user's device and never sent to any server. Hmm. Users control their private keys, etc. Huh. Well, that's actually worth uh, learning about. So, I'll spend some time looking at that have not ran across that one. I want to run across those ones. You guys keep sending me those, okay? Um, you know, we're all looking for that next coin that starts at a penny and is at the price of Ethereum. The odds are very low that that's it, but I'll put I'll put $20 on it if I can own a few million. <laughs> you just never know. Interesting. Hey, did any of you guys get into bat? Oh, real deal, what's up? Love you too, bro. Love you too. Talking about you loving dew makes me think about the Mountain Dew I have in the freezer. I really wanted to get cold. I really could use that. I hope Lisk is the next Ethereum because the amount of Lisk I have in my portfolio would make me a very happy person. Um, still wouldn't make me a millionaire. Still trying to get there. Well, I get, uh, you know, owning owning a, a million uh, digibyte definitely doesn't count, guys. You are not a millionaire. I mean, you can tell your friends you are. Um, then they're just going to think you're even crazier. So, yes, Lisk. Lisk is sexy. And uh, the sexiest thing about Lisk right now is, like, they're undergoing a rebrand. Yes. Yes. The McBro knows what's up with the rebrand. Like, I feel like that's really in the way, because when you get down in the technology of it and what it does and etc., you're like, dang, there's some value here. Um, and here's the cool thing. I think, it, like, if you go to their site, I think you can get a feel for the rebrand and things like that, so... Is a Lisk a $5 coin? I don't see why it's not a $10 coin. Hey, but do not, do not invest, guys, uh, just because I say that. Um, you know. Although, if you guys... I mean, the last few times I've talked about coins, I've gone to the moon, so you probably should buy them. I don't, I don't know what the heck's going on. What was the other one? Uh, one was NIM. Told everyone to buy a NIM at $0.17 cents if you could. Um, literally, my video ends within like two hours. It's at like 22 cents. It's cooking. So hopefully some of you, some of you uh, who follow me religiously 
which is very few. <laughs> I'm celebrating a thousand, guys. Um, but a few of you hopefully got in on that. Um, I've seen, uh, yeah, seen them hit as high as 25 cents recently. Um, I honestly, truly, confidently want to say that NIM could be a dollar by the end of the year. I think it's very undervalued. I think it's a joke that Ripple is more. That's not a, I'm not even kidding, guys. Uh, with Catapult coming out on NIM and its ability to, um, really attack the banking industry and compete with Ripple on a pub, uh, on a much more friendly blockchain on one that is vetted by the community and things like that. Uh, I think it's a safer investment than Ripple. It may not be exciting, right? Just kind of bounces around 17 to 25 cents. But I like Nim. I like Nim. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know, man. I hit 1,000 and I'm already at almost uh, 1,100 now. It's getting crazy. Which do wallet do I recommend? What is the do wallet of choice? I don't know. I guess it depends. Uh, I, I just like Exodus. It's simple. But as you know, that only has a few in it. I just like that they're going to be adding more. Oh, the site's down. And that's hopeful that maybe they're going to launch it today or tomorrow. Who knows? I don't actually know the date on the Lisk uh, rebrand. If you know, let me know. Um, I really like Exodus Wallet. Uh, Jax is another one I know a lot of people like. I like that. Um, but then I have like 30 wallets because, you know, no one has a solution for all of them. It's ridiculous. My whole task bar is wallets. Um, which makes, it's like, I don't know, it, it kind of makes me feel good because it's like, man, each of those icons, there's money in them all. Like, that's kind of exciting, but um, and then and then I have many machines, so I have I have them spread out all over the place. It's kind of my uh, decentralized strategy for myself, de making sure that in case I ever get hacked or something or attacked, um, minimal damage. Hopefully, uh, yeah. But uh, Exodus, I like her a lot. Uh, here's my advice, guys, on wallets in general. Ultra critical, okay? This is the best advice you're going to hear today from the King of Do, I promise. And it is, whenever there is an update on a wallet, wait. Wait a long time. Wait days. Okay? I, I hope there are people out there truly looking into every single update, making sure they're validating these wallets. But what's to stop someone from just being like, oh, well, I just updated this wallet to uh, steal your password next time you type it. Even that, that, just that alone scares the crap out of me. I see it happening one day. It's going to happen. It's probably happened before, and it, maybe it was on the coin. It didn't make a lot of news or something, but like, you know, we've got these people out there making all kinds of different wallets. We don't know who they are. Even if they say they, you know, put their LinkedIn profile up, what does that mean? Like, I'm not, I don't even know. Anyhow, guys. Pro tip. Pro advice. On what to do, what to do. What else we got? The... I guess uh, maybe I can uh, answer some questions about me, maybe, or my dog. I don't know. What are you doing, Chewy? Come here. Come on, Chewy. Want to be on camera? No, it's too hot. Come on. Come on. <gasps> like a boy. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at this giant. He used to be a puppy. His birthday is on Friday. This is Chewbacca. And he's a good boy. Wanna say hi? 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 Oh, belly run. Mm. Yeah, this is Chewbacca. We call him Chewy. And he is the man. He literally is the man. He's a good boy. Alright, that's too much. All done. Good boy. 
He's still in that puppy phase, so he has quite the uh, interesting, um, I don't know what to call it, attitude sometimes? Which ICO do I recommend? You know, actually, what's really, really interesting um, is that there's not many ICOs this month. I mean, there is. There is. Don't get me wrong. They're just not exciting at all. They're very quirky. If anything, they, they come across as, like, maybe a scam. I don't like using the word scam, but dang. It's, uh... It's interesting, I'll tell you that. I'm trying to think of some other ICOs that are coming up that I'm actually excited about. Um, New Amari, as I mentioned, uh, they'll eventually have one. That one I'm willing to take a look at. Just because they have proof of concept. Like, they're already doing it. They're already using it, and that's, that's what I look for, guys. Like, there's so many people out there with vaporware right now. If you don't know what that is, it's just like... People who say they have software and they actually don't. So. Um, when did I first learn about Bitcoin? That's a good question, Seth. Um, I literally learned about it in 2013. It was the exact same time I first found out about Reddit. And... Uh, uh, my good friend Justin, don't know if uh, he watches this or anything, um, he actually uh, introduced me to it. And he, uh, he was a super cool dude. I really, really miss Justin. Um, he actually worked in the warehouse, and I worked up in the offices at the time. Um, he has since worked his way into the offices and got promoted and everything, and he's doing great in life. But um, back then, uh, he, was, uh, he was young, uh, pretty much fresh off the boat kind of thing getting his feet wet in the real world and um yeah we he came to me and we were talking about it and we were talking about mining and what that was and we're just like so you're saying they they mine things out of nowhere and he's like yeah i don't know what the hell they're mining they're just out there somewhere mining something <laughs> like we had no freaking idea at the time to be honest um, it was really about a year, more than a year and a half ago now, when Ethereum started, like, getting my attention. Um, you know, I, I, that's really the one that I've been, uh, following the, the most and for the longest amount of time. It's, uh, what I know the most about, went through the Dow and all that, and... It's all exciting. But really, really been enjoying the ride of Ethereum. Uh, got into mining and things like that. Got a machine here sitting next to me. Um, it's cooking. It's cooking. It's doing all the things for me right now. I like it. What other questions? XVG is the highest volume on Bittrex right now. That's ridiculous. Are you serious? Sorry. I mean, I know you're probably serious. I don't think you'd make it up. I'm just, I'm shocked. It's up 1%, but has the most volume? Verge. Is Verge on Polo? I'm going to answer my own question. Is Verge on Polo? Nope. So for some reason it's cooking. Six... Wow, it's about to reach 7,000 Bitcoin? Volume? So 
Someone tell me what's going on there. Is there news? Is this a pump and dump? Somebody talk to me. Cool doggy. That thing picked up out of nowhere. Man, congratulations to anyone that owned that. That's just silly. That's just silly numbers. Let's see, uh, on the 1st of May, it was like, what, 35 Satoshis that day? Now it's 181? I'm gonna check the coin market cap volume on that bad boy. Hey, we hit 98 billion, guys. We're gonna do it. If we're not careful, it's gonna happen on this live stream. Verge. Verge. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> there is 13 trillion coins. That is a trillion, guys. The max supply will be 16 trillion, so not all of it is out yet. Wow. You guys know anything about this coin? Oh, the, IC, the ICO I recommended isn't out yet. There is no uh, official um, coin. It's called uh, Numeri. So, I, you know, there's no... Uh, I'm trying to see if I can uh, copy and paste something for you here on that, but I lost it. I don't know how to spell it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a fork of Bitcoin Dark. Okay, okay. Dude, the trillions, though. Trillions, really? I gotta do the math on that if it goes to a penny. It's, like, mind-blowing. It's crazy. Hey, that's awesome, Real Deal. You actually got in on it. Bro, you gotta tell me when to get in on these things, dude. You and me, we ride these together. You can't be doing that to me, dude. You gotta message me. You gotta be like, do. This is the one. Let's do this. Yeah, I gotta go back and find that. Because it's like, you gotta be kidding me on that number. I don't know. All right, guys, well, um, I'm going to grab a Mountain Dew out of my fridge. It's going to be cold and delicious, and it's going to satisfy the king. Um, and the king needs it right now, because I've been doing this live stream for a while. I really enjoyed you guys showing up. How many did we hit? What was the max? Does anyone see what's going on here? I don't even know. I just want to thank everyone for coming out. I've got 27, 27 people here right now. Um, thank you so much. Um, I hope the stream looks okay. Um, just because I have so much processing in the background. Thank you, Brooke. I love you, too. Oh, you love my channel, so... Oh, my, my bad. I thought you loved me. <laughs> What's up, Jess? I like Jess. Jess is on Steemit, and Jess is awesome and likes my things on Steemit. And I like him because he likes my things on Steemit. He also leaves excellent comments. Oh, she loves me too. You are a girl, right, Brooke? I mean, I know some guys named Brooke, so sorry. I don't know. Don't tell my wife, though. Either way, boy or girl, don't tell my wife. Woo. I don't know. She's come to accept that I'm slightly YouTube famous. I don't know what you deem as YouTube famous, but a thousand I don't deem as YouTube famous. I feel like um, that's the size of like a, a, a really large church. So that's about it. <laughs> like it's not really being famous. That is just being like, what's up? 
I know you guys, you know me. It's billions, not trillions? It's billions. Still, still, guys, come on. Billions? Really? Is it the next Digibyte? That's what I want to know. Because then I'm in. I'm in. Is it too late? I think it's too late. That's really scary. Just blown up out of nowhere. Coin I know nothing about. I must learn all the things. I get really scared about that stuff. I won't lie. I mean, I, I like to put my money in it. And I always dream at night about putting, you know, entire Bitcoins into these things. But, um... Some of these markets are super manipulated, guys. Like BAT, 99% of it is all owned by 100 people. We're just fighting over the scraps, guys. And it's hard to tell what we're really fighting over sometimes. I'm trying to read all this stuff here. The Digibyte and Facebook rumors. Yeah... You know, that's the thing, is it's a rumor, so that is the million dollar question. You know, look, I'm not impressed that they're going to Facebook. Sorry. Would you guys be impressed that I went to Amazon two weeks ago? Like, met with Amazon? Talked about marketing? I don't know. It's like massive, large corporation. Who are they actually talking to? It's not like they're going to go talk to Zuck and be like, Yo, Zuck, we got this coin? Let's do this. And Zuck's like, yeah, let's do it. It's not happening. <laughs> so. The real deal works at Facebook. What's up? Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. Do you work on the marketing side? We need to talk. We need to talk all the Facebook things. Uh, I probably can't even talk about it because of non-disclosure agreements. But I've been playing with some tools and stuff. <laughs> Need to talk some time. That's true. Facebook and YouTube. I mean, Facebook's been dead to me for years. It's uh, it's a necessary evil now. It's like I get. I'm not social. I'm I'm socially ridiculed by my even my family sometimes for not using it. Hi, Mom, if you're watching. Um, yeah. It's not for me. It never was. In fact, I actually have two accounts, I think. Because my wife, like, created one for me when I was in college because she was so upset I didn't have one. And that was, like, long time ago. Like, when Facebook was, like, just getting crazy, spreading across all the colleges and stuff. Um, and I was, like... I ain't got time for that. I'm playing World of Warcraft. I don't even have time for girls right now. I'm grinding some gear and some gold right now. Manipulating economic markets digitally. Those were good days, man. If that game, Man, I wish that game wasn't so addicting. I tell you what, though. When I retire, if they ever have, like, World of Warcraft servers that start over from the beginning and start with vanilla and you get to progress through the whole thing... You know I'll be there signing up. Sorry, that's the nerdy side of me. Sorry if you're not into that. but I play a little Overwatch nowadays. I'm a big Dota 2 fan. I'll be at the Dota 2 International Championship if you're there. Come say hi. We'll hang out. I'll buy you a drink. Honestly. You're, like, literally, the odds that one of you play Dota 2 and will be there is basically zero. So I will also let you lodge with me and pay for the lodging. How about that? Don't go buy a ticket just because I said that. RuneScape. Man, I played RuneScape. That stuff was so cool. I was ahead of its time, bro. I was way ahead of its time. Only your grandma uses Facebook. You know, that's the thing, man. It's like only the old people use Facebook. So you can only imagine, like, the kids that are, like, younger than us that are out there. They must think that, like, Facebook is, like, super ancient. You know? And Facebook is the thing that their teacher talks about, and they don't have a clue what it is. Chewie wants to be on camera. He brought a toy. My wife let me play for a long time, but um, 
Honestly, I uh, decided to get my own priorities right. I don't even know why I decided to stop, but, uh, you know. Um, actually, I kind of do. It was, it was about the time when they started making the game get too easy. The greatest thing about the game is uh, that they that they psychologically did using game theory was all the content was available as long as you grinded out the gear and got good enough, right? Uh, but then they made it so easy you really didn't have to try that hard and you got to experience all the content. So I was experiencing all the content and getting bored and then like sitting around waiting and that's the wrong recipe. They figured it out and fixed it since but they kind of lost me on that one. But you got to be very careful with that. A very uh, good content strategy is critical for any MMO to be successful. And that's why so many MMOs fail. They don't get it. They just don't get it. Calling for internet censorship. It won't be long, guys. The internet cannot, it will not stay censored, you know. Um... It, I mean, it already is, in a way, right? So, uh, it's going to get worse and worse. They're going to uh, start basically oppressing our uh, uh, access to information and data. And that's when it's not okay. I mean, it's okay when it's, like, bad things that we agree is bad, right? But, like, I don't know. Those things, you, you give you give people an inch, they take a mile, right? So, it's very, uh, very sketch. Yeah, hopefully it's not an issue, but I'm honestly not worried. Like, blockchain is a, uh, theoretically proven that we can decentralize the internet, and when content is posted, there's nothing anyone can do about it. The uh, future, uh, the next YouTube is already out there, being worked on, right? You guys watched Crypto the other day. He was talking about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that it's you know it's all me coming up with this, but he saw Crypto talking about it. Anyhow, guys, um, I'm gonna go because now I am. Uh, I was saving this video as well as uh, streaming, so. Um, taking up a ton of space, bogging down my computer. So I'm going to run, but I'm going to get my news out for you guys. That's really important. Um, Estonia using blockchain for their voting. Yeah, there's a few different places using uh, blockchain as a potential voting solution. I've talked about it a little bit on here. I haven't, haven't heard about Estonia, though. So, All right, guys. Thank you so much. 1,000, and we're killing it. We're almost to 1,100 already. Um, today it just exploded. Usually I only get subscribers right after making videos and stuff, but for some reason I hit a thousand and now it's like, oh man, everyone sign up on King of Juice channel. So you guys were here for the first thousand. I thank you so much. I thank you for all the donations, all the likes, all the shares, all the comments. You guys helped me get there by liking my videos and commenting. So as always, do it, do it for me. Keep doing it for me. Don't let the momentum stop. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, to be honest. Um... And uh, really, really super grateful. I'm just reading the comments here. Thanks for the support, guys. I appreciate it very much. Me and Chewy, we got homework to do, huh? We love that crypto news, don't we? We just want to know all the blockchain things. Chewy loves it. Dude, look at this dude. He's huge. He's a beast. Just that big one. Ugh. Dude, and not only does it drool all over me. Anyhow, I love you guys. Uh, like, share, comment, go to Steam It. I might post this on Steam It. But even if you didn't, go upvote all the other things. Sign up if you're not on Steam and all that good stuff. I um, really appreciate you guys. You guys mean the world to me. I, I can't believe. Like, I can't even dream. Like, one month ago that I'm doing this right now. Like, I, I'm being 100% honest. I never set out to do any of this. And I'm having my mind blown. Um... I'm getting all kinds of positive support from even like family members and people at work and um, and from and from you guys especially. It was you guys that were here first that really said, "Hey, we believe in you, King Adu, and we want you to keep doing it." 
and you guys are literally supporting me. Um, with that said, I've actually started investing more into this. Uh, I uh, went ahead and uh, purchased some additional monitors and things like that, so I'm more efficient. Um, I can bring you better content. Um, I can be more prepared to give better, higher quality videos. I've got some other surprises in the works too. I'm getting some help with my my channel. I'm probably gonna get um, not probably. It's in it's in my roadmap. I actually have a roadmap for my own channel now, guys. Like that's how much you inspire me. I'm like I'm gonna keep going with this because what could happen? I don't know. Maybe I go from a thousand to ten thousand to a hundred thousand, or maybe I just you know keep having fun with you guys. That's honestly I'm having a blast. So, really appreciate it. What you got, Joseph? I'm about to roll. Would you recommend a percentage of capital in USD? Hmm. I don't know what your local currency is, if that's what the, what the question is. Um, if there's a potential crash that you're actually seriously concerned about, um, historically, uh, hard assets, uh, silver, gold, if, if that's what you're concerned about. But, oh, you're talking about a hard crash in the markets. Yes, um, that's going to happen. You're just going to have, yeah, you you know, put it into USD for a little while. Um, it sucks, though, because, I mean, it's giant red flags as far as taxes go and things like that. Um, there's You can put it into Tether. USD Tether um, is the best place to put it. But I don't know what you're, what, what you're worried about a crash about. There's going to be pullbacks like we had uh, recently, but the word crash, even I use it really loosely, and someone called me out on it in one of my comments, and I should stop doing it, but um, a true crash, true crash, we should get into Tether, hopefully it's safe there, but um, if we're having a true crash, I don't even know if Tether will survive, let's be real, guys, because it's, it's technically a cryptocurrency, so... Just pull out USD if it truly crashes, but good luck. This market moves so fast. You're gonna you're if it does truly crash, you won't be there for it. You won't see it. I don't know what to tell you. If you go on vacation and you're concerned about it, you're not close enough to a computer, um, make sure you get into exchange like uh, GDAX where you can turn it into real USD in an instant and set stop losses and things like that. So Did I say useless, Lucy? Oh, whatever, dude. Come on, guys. I worked all day. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it. Love you all. Thank you so much again. 1,000. Let's go for... What's our next goal, guys? What's our big number? What can we do? I don't even know. Um, I don't know. At the rate we're going... Might as well be 10,000. Who knows? Hopefully we can hit that before football season. Need me some football. All right, guys. Appreciate you. I'm going to get to work on uh, some do news. I'm going to bring it to you. So, I just... You just pass up my question. Sam, there's a thousand questions, bro. I'm trying. Where are you, Sam? Subscriber 1001. You're 1001, dude? Dude, you broke 1,000. Thank you. If fiat USD goes away, what do we peg the value of BTC at? What's the measure? Wow. Well, if USD fiat goes away, the entire world has completely collapsed. Um, in which case, some cryptocurrencies may go through the roof, but um, likely another currency is going to have a lot of value. So um, if you're concerned about that, uh, I would recommend you do some research on different international currencies. Look at the yen and things of that nature. The one that will hold its most is whatever country pegs it to real assets like gold or something. That That's my best guess. I can only guess, guys. Um, I'm not uh, crazy about Forex markets. I know a little bit. But I'm not crazy about trying to figure out what, what doomsday looks like for USD. Um, history would say it'll happen someday. We'll have to wait and see if it happens soon. Or never. Let's be real, it could never happen, right? Like, we sit here and talk about it all day, but, you know, maybe we have a new USD cryptocurrency that's created, so who knows. All right, guys. 
Well, that's it. I gotta go. Gonna make it happen. I gotta drink this Mountain Dew. I'm gonna be up all night if I don't drink this Mountain Dew. And you know I need a Mountain Dew. And then this has been going so long that it might have exploded. In which case, frozen Mountain Dew is delicious. I'm still gonna lick it off the edge of the freezer. All right. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you again soon. And as always, I am the King of Dew. May the force be with you.